Today I'm going to talk to you about how to square your Shapoko, mainly the X and Y axis. On my machine they were a little bit skewed, so when I was trying to cut out a perfect rectangle I was getting more of a parallelogram. And the way we can check easily is pull your X carriage all the way forward so it bumps into the Y rail here. If everything's perfectly square, it should be hitting the left and right sides at the same time. Here you can see the right side is hitting with no gap, but the left side has about an eighth inch gap. And if I squeeze them together, I can close the gap. So this tells me that it's slightly out of square. Another way you can check it is to use a square. This one happens to be 24 inches and it just lays down perfectly in the back. All right, so we've checked the alignment and we found that we have a small gap on this side. So basically we need to bend this X carriage in this direction so that they're even. And the easiest way I've found to do that is to put a clamp on this side and now we can kind of force the carriage into the shape that it needs to be. I found it helps to have a clamp on this side as well. So we're just going to squeeze this so it's in the right shape and we're going to loosen these bolts and insert shims wherever there's gaps. So this is our ideal squareness and we're going to fill in anywhere we see a gap with shim stock. I removed the bolts that hold the end plates on, just the bolts where the shim stock needs to go. As you can see here as I pull on the carriage that gap opens up. So I'm going to attach my clamp and hold that gap open so that I can insert some shims. And I'm just using aluminum foil. I think I needed six layers of aluminum foil to get the, the gap closed. And you want to make sure you space evenly left to right. So on the right side I had six shims, on the left I had six shims, and that makes sure that the stress is distributed equally on both sides. I put all the bolts back in, snugged them up, and double checked to see if the squareness has improved. So I've got the gap even on both sides. So it's an iterative process, uh, adding more shim stocks until you get it dialed in, but I think it's well worth it knowing that your machine is square, especially if you're making enclosures or something like that. It's, uh, it's really annoying having out of square pieces. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.